37.50 billion barrels. Unilorry Professor produces biofuel, rather biodiesel, from eggshells. And then you have clerks saying uh, Tinumbu not serious with Chibo girls rescue. That's also an interesting one there. Away from this, but still taking headlines on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. Romani died of natural causes. That's according to a coroner. Or your government receives Olakunlein's nomination as 43rd Olubadon. Or your secretariat invasion, please parade 21 suspects as army vows prevent recurrence. That's the it has these riders. Yoruba nation agitators, uh, cells busted. That's according to market aid security aid. Security beefed up at secretariat. That's also a rider to the same story. Amotekun warns over unholy gathering in Oshu. We insist on Yoruba nation. That's according to agitators. One more headline from the Nigerian Tribune. How government rescued over 1,000 abductees without ransom. That's according to the NSA. Moving on to the Vanguard newspaper. More pressures on pockets as food inflation rises to 40%. It has this rider's high electricity tariff to drive further rise. Of course, drive further rise. That's according to analysts. It's bad for businesses. That's according to Nasima. And then Asborn is saying the small businesses to lose capital base. So on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, why electricity power system collapsed fourth time in 2024. That's also there. Okwama Army lacks powers to deny Oborevori a journalist access. That's according to Delta stakeholders and Falano. Federal government still subsidizing petrol in trillions of Naira. That's according to former governor El Rufai. E-payment transactions rise 89% to 257.7 trillion Naira in Q124. That's also on the front page of the Vanguard. Other headlines from the same paper. Chibok. 1,680 more Nigerian school children abducted in 10 years. That's according to UNICEF. And on the Oyo Secretariat invasion, you have uh, this uh, Yoruba Nation sponsors promise to end my hunger. That's according to a female suspect. Quite a number of riders to the story. We don't regret our actions. That's according to defiant suspects. Local security outfit discovers hideouts. That's also there. Markinay Hills security agencies for peace in Oyo. And then you have the Oyo State government saying invasion is treasonable. That's also there. Treat invaders as coupists, YCE tells federal government. It's an act of treason, that's according to Bode George. One more rider to the same story, as MK Abiola's son blasts uh, Onitiri Abiola for invasion. Nigeria grows oil reserves to 37.5 billion barrels. That's there on the front page of the Vanguard. Illegal traffic enforcement. Miscreants take over Lagos roads. Western nations urge restraint as Israel war cabinet meets a second time less than 24 hours.
And on to the Punch newspaper, vandalism worsens grid collapse as gas shortage slashes power supply. Riders the story, TCN discos blame gas shortage, vandalism for frequent collapses. Firms beg customers. TCN plans fresh investment in power infrastructure as grid collapses sixth time in 2024. State police, uh, police law, rather, police law amendment may take two years. That's also tied to that. Uh, that is the uh, state police on the front page of the Paunch newspaper. Naira nears 1,000 Naira per dollar at parallel market. Dangote, modular refineries to pay Naira for crude. That's also on the front page of the same paper. Nigeria's FDI fell by $19 billion in 10 years. That's according to Edun. Yoruba Nation, lecturer defense participation. Police parade 21. Testimony back backlash, uh, Dunamis apologizes as Abuja testifier meets uh, Neche wife. That's also there on the front page of The Punch. One more from the same paper. Of Romani, father kicks as Corona blames uh, parents, doctor for teenager's death. And finally, to the Guardian newspaper for a couple of headlines, you have uh, households grown uh, over food prices as inflation defies interventions. Southwest leaders fault or your invasion as police parade 21 suspects. Federal government targets $15.7 trillion artificial intelligence market. That's also there on the front page of the Guardian. Ward suspends a Ganduje over alleged graft. State chapter kicks. Support Tinubu or quit. Matawale tells federal appointees from north. National greed suffers third collapse, worsens 20 hours power target. Baker ba bags a life jail for defiling neighbor's daughter. That's also on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. A couple more headlines from the same paper. You have this leveraging automation for prompt justice delivery system. Of course, uh, that's a piece there in the Guardian. BCDC orders soldiers to leave Bokos as debt toll hits 30. These are the headlines on the front pages of some of the major papers. We go on our first break. And of course, when I return, I'll be turning to our analysts for some perspective. Don't forget, you can be a part of the conversation by joining us on YouTube or X. We're streaming live on both platforms. You can drop your comments there. The handle is Fresh FM. Ibadon. Do stick around. Freshly pressed, we'll be right back. International Tourism 2024. The International Tourism Summit 2024. International Conference Center, University International Tourism Summit. It's your state 2024. 
at the Shewa Pelu or your state tourism. We are Kanwe de Bogota Satasha. Symposium, fireside chats, and exhibition. If Patel Mary Merita Jesu or Woy Pilasa. International Tourism Summit 2024. If Pinlan Fugu Hori, Ewa Wola Badun, Kudunga Kuole, and Gumesa Roli to Berry. Who bear it? I'll be very soon. You can see your state minister of culture and tourism at the tourism board. Take it to the Badun. Pay 0 0 6 6 2 4 7 4 2 7. Tabi can see www.tourism.oyostate.gov.ng. Go Benya for Wipel and Reti. Go Bank Bok Kedey or your state lose a baby. The future belongs to the dreamers, the doers, to those who are not afraid to explore endless opportunities. No matter what your dreams are, you can achieve it. And Top T will be with you every step of the way. Start your day with a flavorful cup of Top T. You are made for more. Find your inspiration. Top T. Big round bags of flavor. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention. Your favorite mini me chin chin snack pack is now 150 Naira. The perfect crunch to satisfy your cravings and keep the good times rolling. Mini me chin chin. Taste the fun today. Head on now to your nearest neighbor store and grab yours. Mustafa <laughs> I remember being screamed at. The customer was not going to pay for the Bantu knots. But giving up was not an option then. And it isn't now. Not even fear can stop me. Be fearless. Be beautiful with Lush Hair. Lush Hair. Be beautiful. In a move to boost the economy and tackle rising living costs, the government has removed the controversial subsidy. As a result, transportation expenses have soared and the cost of living has become a burden for many. Introducing Compressed Natural Gas, or CNG, a game changer. It's safe, eco-friendly, and cost-effective, burning clean, and extending your driving range. Head over to certified conversion centers in Lagos, Ogun, Abuja, Kaduna, and Rivers to switch your vehicle to CNG and start enjoying cheaper fuel for a better life. For more details on the PCNGI initiative, send us an email at info at pci.gov.ng or call at 0700-0000. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention. Your favorite mini chin chin snack pack is now 150 Naira. The perfect crunch to satisfy your cravings and keep the good times rolling. Mini me chin chin. Taste the fun today. Head on now to your nearest neighbor store and grab yours. Person with Sabi no fit to scat. I run the street so you can't run me street. I am a boss. Shift. My security is assured. I did my day no joking. I go shine my eyes no darling now. I stay true to my call. I be my own boss. And you know why? Cause I got true color on my mobile. Look at my feet and shine me. I be my own boss. Let's come and play you like Samba. Oh. Samba them red card with true color. Oh yeah. Download them now, now, free of charge. It's there for Android and iOS. Oh, oh, true color. Health, they say, is wealth. But when securing good health costs you an arm and a leg, Yeepah! or when you are at the hospital and they insist on a hefty deposit before treatment. Yeepah! But when Avon HMO has your back, you won't have to scream. 
Yekba. Because in the end, we all need people. Visit AvonHealthcare.com now to get an Avon Health plan for you and your people. Avon HMO, empowering you to live a healthier, fuller life. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention. Your favorite mini meat chin chin snack pack is now 150 naira. The perfect crunch to satisfy your cravings and keep the good times rolling. Mini meat chin chin, taste the fun today. Head on now to your nearest neighbor store and grab yours. The future belongs to the dreamers, the doers, to those who are not afraid to explore endless opportunities. No matter what your dreams are, you can achieve it. And Top T will be with you every step of the way. Start your day with a flavorful cup of Top T. You are made for more. Find your inspiration. Top T. Big round bags of flavor. You want to fight your Cornerstone Comprehensive Motor Insurance. Borilede to a labe ekwas free to my niketanikan. Can see cornerstone.com.ng Tabiko Kwe 0708-621-6957 by Cornerstone. Abo to Daju for Joy Waju. Freshly pressed. All the news updates and news analysis from today's headlines on Fresh Fresh 105.9 FM. Thanks for staying tuned. This is Freshly Pressed on Fresh 105.9 FM. Of course, it's about time I turn to my analyst for some perspective. Dr. Imajima is in the building with me this morning. Good morning, Doctor. It's good to have you. Good morning, Lulu, Father Joe. Good morning, Nigeria. I'm glad to be back here. I All hope right. well, things are looking up mm. and not um, Face down. Up. <laughs> Interesting one there. But let's uh, start with this okay. in Oyo State. Mm. It is about the Oyo Secretariat invasion. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, some Southwest leaders already faulting that move, that invasion. Mm. You have the Oyo State government. Uh, mm. I believe you, you were listening when I sure. took riders, you know, talking about it being treasonable, the actions of uh, those who invaded the Secretariat and so many other, you know, reactions to it. But then let's go back to those who actually carried out this act. Um, some of those suspects mm -hmm. are saying that they don't re, um, regret their actions despite being arrested. It's quite interesting. You would see, or usually, what should happen, uh, what one would expect is when people are arrested, mm -hmm. they get sober. When they're mm -hmm. caught in a crime mm -hmm. against the state, they're, they're sober and, you know, they start recanting and the likes. But these individuals are saying they don't regret their actions. Another that caught my eye is the female suspect saying that, uh, you know, the Yoruba nation sponsors promised to end our hunger. Wow. That's an interesting one, mm -hmm. considering that quite a lot of Nigerians are considered to be multidimensionally poor. Considering that the food, uh, food prices keep going high, mm. uh, especially in a report this morning saying uh, food prices are up by 40.01%. That is what they're placing the figures. And so you keep wondering. If they can get one, or I don't know what number they've been able to get, due to hunger, and the tool is to say we'll get you out of hunger, how many more Nigerians can be recruited into this group mm -hmm. or similar groups? Besides this, what do they know, the suspects know, that we don't, mm -hmm. for them to keep this defiance despite being arrested? Well, loaded, but let's do it strand. 
by strand, mm -hmm. step by step. First, I'll respond to this story by simply making my own verdict on the line. My own verdict. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, this is a full-blown coup. Coup, though, in a civilian administration. That has to be established. Why did I say that? All the ingredients of the previous Nigerian coups that I am aware of are present in this. There was the use of illegitimate violence. There was possession of firearms and other weapons. The invaders, you call them invaders, I call them coupists. The coupists were dressed in military uniform. Oh, so they were carrying coupists. Coupists. <laughs> okay. Yes. Because I, I just told you now that I think seriously, mm. strongly that this is a coup. Mm. All right. So the military men, you can put that in inverted commas because they were they were dressed in military camouflage, making us to get the impression that they are military men. That's an, of course that's another offense. All right. Trying to uh, pretend to be who they are not. That's by the way. So I think strongly that all the coups in Nigeria that failed before. All right experienced all of the things that i've just mentioned and there was none of them that went without being punished i mean um in fact the coup that was believed to have been masterminded by a former friend of a former military president the one by me uh, supposed to have been led by major general maman vatsa mm. i mean that was some people classify that as a phantom coup i mean um, but the perpetrator, quote unquote, was still executed. In fact, Major General Maman Vata was a bosom friend to of, Ali. Yeah, to yeah. Ibrahim Babangida. That did not prevent that administration from executing Maman Vata. That's still considered debatable. We still have stories after that. Mm. So, my own viewpoint is that as far as I'm concerned, this is a coup intended to unseat a democratically elected government. All right, and I am sure, or well, I'm strongly convinced, yes, that's right. better, that this should be treated as such. And particularly, the perpetrators, you know, from what we had as responses from them, they do not have any remorse. One of them said he has no regret about mm -hmm. his action, meaning that it was deliberate, all right? Intent, I mean, look at it, they attacked the Oyo State as of assembly, right? That is the symbol of democracy i mean we all do know what happens right now to those people who invaded american congress they already been tried some of them are jailed some of them you know they have had their political career jeopardized of course donald trump is already facing trial now but for something else really so i am saying that everything that we can look at left and right local and international to decide whether this is a coup or not that everything is present here right so i think the government should treat them as such let's look at the story of the the response of the young woman i don't know how old she is who is talking about um hunger, hunger yes. you know as the basis for our participation in this and you raised a germane question how many more nigerians can resist or cannot resist the offer okay of having hunger dealt with test quenched if they join this kind of uh, movement so this is a question on our minds that we must answer sufficiently otherwise will be increasing rebellion against the Nigerian state. Okay? Well, this is not to say that this is justifiable. This is not justifiable. Because in my mind, I am asking the question, will an MK or Abiola, if he was alive, do something like this? All right? Would he have gone this way to drive home his own point about um, the Yoruba nation's, you know, state? Imagine, will an Obafemi Awolowo have gone this way? I mean, this... This was a man that was um that was uh, um arrested and uh, clamped in detention or in jail for treasonable felony did he do something as bad as this he did not eventually so i feel strongly that this is a very loaded um story and that we should consider uh moving up moving forward from this point all the participants all the actors in this should be appropriately dealt with i mean if this was a military error we already had 21 human beings waiting on the death road. Just a moment. Okay. Um, yep. uh, you, you have alluded to quite a number of things. Sure. Uh, you alluded to some former leaders uh, like uh, the likes of uh, Awolo or the likes of MK or Abiola. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at it from this perspective, yes. since they chose uh, you know, the part of peace, 
Absolutely. It necessarily did not work for them. Could it be? It worked. Necessarily did not work for them. It worked. Ab uh, Abiola did die. Uh, it was, uh, he did pass on. He did not become president. He didn't regain his mandate. Mm -hmm. For uh, Awolowo, that which was his ultimate goal, mm. he did not achieve it. This is not to say that one should now go the other way. Yeah. However, so, you should also consider mm -hmm. that uh, besides uh, what you have pointed out, that, okay, this is treasonable and the likes, mm -hmm. the question has not been answered. You've not answered that question. Okay. The question of starvation. Besides the lady who said that they promised to end her hunger, mm. there's also another gentleman, uh, or another man, who uh, a 29-year-old, who was also defiant. And he said, consider the hardship in Nigeria. Mm. That needs to be addressed else there might be more individuals that will be recruited that is one of the things pointed out by even some of these uh, kidnappers yes. if you follow some of the documentaries of those who have followed these kidnappers they've talked about how government abandoned them mm. how there was no development in their areas That's right. and then they moved into kidnapping and the likes mm. yes to the first question i will respond if intellectual struggle and the pathway you know to that could not be attained by the instrument of peace and intellectualism, mm. crude violence like this one will perpetually fail. Mm. So let me leave it that way. And coming to address the um, the outcomes, because uh, the, the, the causative effects, causative so, effects, yeah. Also, the causative effects are also the outcomes. Poverty is cited here. You know, deprivation is cited here as the um, ginger. Allow me to use that word or the, the triggers, the motivation, all right, for people, at least one of them, the lady who participated. So the bottom line is that there are met so it is for us to decide how many millions of Nigerians are represented by the lady incarcerated. I mean, by the lady who made the confession that the sponsor promised to quench or address her hunger. hunger. So how many millions of this kind of lady do we have in Nigeria today? We have to answer that question. And for as long as hunger, deprivation, um, low, very, very low standard of living are not addressed collectively, I mean, by the Nigerian state, I think we will witness more rebellion. That's not to justify one. But it is going to be an outcome of either deliberate or inadvertent refusal on the part of the government to address the matter of improved standard of living. Mm. So, again, we cannot justify the action, all right, by what she has said, but that is the reality, mm. okay? So, we are looking at what is and what should be. What is is poverty. What should be is that people should be given some kind of um, basic necessities of life just so they could feel and actually act as humans. Otherwise, things that are not expected of humans will begin to dominate their reasoning faculty. And then the outcome will be that they do things that are below um, the reasoning, I mean, logical reasoning of humans. So, summary, the government must see to it that the current trend, seemingly endless trend of declining standard of living and increased cost of living, declining standard of living and increased cost of living are addressed together as two sides of one dangerous coin mm. so if that is not done i think that um it will be very difficult to be able to bring to a logical conclusion all the forms of violence that we witness in, in nigeria today that are actually violence against the states mm. in the final analysis right of course what i meant at the time was causative agents not effect causative agents but then in terms of figures of nigeria yeah you are yes. right the causative agents yes. are see doubling as the consequence yeah okay poverty is a cause and it's also a the effect all right of course in terms of the figures in terms of nigerians who are said to be multi-dimensionally poor mm. according to figures in 2022 is 63 percent of nigerians that's 133 million people in the northern part of the country you have 86 million of these and of course in the southern part of the country you have 47 million uh you know individuals mm. who are termed to be multi-dimensionally poor so these are probably those who could be uh, attracted or could be convinced of a better life you yeah, know sometimes this kind of narrative. when i see figures like this i ask myself i hope i'm not one 
multidimensionally poor. Sometimes I feel I, I don't know where whether the figure includes me. Uh, I, I doubt that. But uh, let's, what do you mean? You let's, doubt let, that? Let's move to a similar story before <laughs> opening the phone lines uh, real quick. Of course, uh, there's that story about uh, pressures on the pockets of Nigerians mm -hmm. due to food inflation uh, rising to 40%. Yeah. But then there's also another reality that is the naira gaining against the dollar. Mm -hmm. So naira nearing about 1,000 naira per dollar at the parallel market. While that is happening, or while the Naira was losing its powers initially, the prices of things were going up. One would have assumed it would have worked the other way, since Naira was gaining against the dollar. Maybe given time, maybe not immediately, things will get better. Mm. But it seems the prices of food keep going high. That's right. One of mine asked me a similar question yesterday. And my answer to the young woman was, and still remains, that the strength of the Naira... It's like a poor student in school moving from 20% to 32%. The, the student has improved mm -hmm. figuratively, you know, 12. But it's still uh, conclusively on the final analysis in F. Oh, oh, yeah. I see. I mean, we cannot deny the movement of the student from 20 to 32. That's, that's an improvement, mm. right? That's development. But the development is still very low so are you scoring so, nigeria's economy as an f perhaps worse than that so we see that naira um is whether artificially constructed or by the forces of demand and supply or, or other economic forces you know coming to coming stronger you know to about a thousand naira to one dollar as far as i'm concerned well i cannot ignore the the uh, development the improvement but that is still way way below and your question is why do we have this improvement and we do not have this translates to improved standard of living of the people, right? Um, to that, I will simply say, I summarize by saying that it is easier, 10 times easier to destroy than to build. Mm. What is built in 10 years can be brought down in 10 days or even one day, all right? So, uh, besides that, we have the willing collaboration deliberate or inadvertent of some nigerians who would not want this to change in their own personal interest interesting yeah despite okay. the reforms by the cbn despite, that yeah, seems that, to, absolutely okay. because some people are profiting from this so when when this cabal these persons that are profiting from this i mean the misfortune of the nigerian state when they are not apprehended they are not tried they are not convicted openly for Nigerians to see as deterrence, this kind of problem we continue to blossom. I, I need to open the phone lines, but I'm a bit confused okay, here. Let's, it seems let's the government that. is trying to ensure that there's some reform, That's there's right. some cleanup. Mm -hmm. But then you're saying there are those who are profiting from this system as it stands today. That's right. Is it that under one hand the government is reforming, you know, probably with, with the plans, with what they're doing with the CBN, and then letting some other people go in another uh, realm? What exactly is playing out? Or the government is not seeing those who are sabotaging the system? Oh, of course, the government... The government see clearly at state level, federal level, they see clearly, and they have institutions in place to deal with this. So, but I am saying that, uh, in addition to that, results doesn't come as easily as we expect. Results follow processes. How much longer? Destroying then? doesn't follow long process. It just follows one. It could be a big bang, one bang of a process, and it is down. Okay, so uh, because we have to wait for this to reach its gestation period and the birth. That's on the one hand. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we have persons that are profiting from the misfortune and they would not want whatever efforts government make right now to bring the results. So the government must do more than just putting policy in place. These policies must be seen to work beyond reasonable doubt. They must do follow up of whatever action that they put in place. All right. Yeah. So I'm convinced that, well, government is making efforts. That's not enough. I summarized. And secondly, there are persons that are in place that are acting as um, the, the uh, they, are, they are trying to destabilize. All right, let's in take their own interest. Sure. 0704 right. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Welcome on board, comrade. I think whatever this guy. No theory that we talk about 
support goes over the apple as you take a period. Because that is lawlessness. We came about a little culture because of anarchy in the past. So uh, let the government use them as example so that the citizens will not uh, will run away from such action. And it tells us that many citizens are condemning this uh, action of the Odua agitators that Thank you very much. All right, I thank you for your take. We're still taking more of your reactions. The phone lines are open 0704 700 1059 and 0909 111059. These are the numbers to be a part of the conversation. Let's see what we have uh, on YouTube in a moment. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, I'm Alicia Julius. Welcome on board. Miss Ima, good morning, sir. Warm greetings, bro. Love. Now, honestly, yes, we the agitators. We have seen them, and uh, I love the way Doctor Ima analyzed everything about them this morning. We can call them cookies. They are trying to overthrow a, a legitimate government. Trying, they are bringing their own mind, their mindset in a wrong way. But do you know something? This is how I pop started and other agitators. But I would appreciate it if our government will not be so ruthless in handling this matter, but call these people or look for a way, dialogue, then see to the needs of Nigerians. Some of them are trying to tell us that they are not regretting, despite the fact that they know the consequences that is ahead of them, the punishment that they want to bear. Some of them know in their mindset that it is possible that they will not be free in the society any longer for the rest of their lives. But they are now ready to do this. What of others that they are breeding, that they are still silent for now, that want to spring up tomorrow? Government should rise up, do the needful for our society. Nigerians are suffering. The pain is excruciating. And people are now trying to speak out in ways that is not legitimate mm. like this one we have seen uh, last week trying to take over power by all means so please for me i would appreciate it if government will listen go back do the next food instead of them punishing us and enjoying all in the name of democracy mm. good morning thank, thank you me. for your take we're still taking more of your reactions going on youtube real quick you have razak Ademola saying do i don't support those that invaded the secretariat at ibadan Labeling them as coupist is out of it. That's according to Razak Ademola. You have Sulaiman the Sheriff saying good morning and okay. Goes on. Yesterday it is uh it is good to know that Oyo State Governor commend the army and other security agencies for keeping peace in Oyo State. It's time to improve on our intelligence gathering in this country. And of course you have Kadri Damilare saying, Why are we forgetting their promoters okay an interesting observation there hello good morning good morning good morning to you yeah this is uh Everett. where are you calling from i'm calling from my bagu go ahead please you see a government cannot fight corruption why because, because all their investment is in corruption hmm they invest How so? in corruption in this country and How so? there's a big change in that investment so that's why you see the government cannot talk. Uh, according to the analysts, that the, 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 the government knows about what is going on. So it's investment in corruption. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I would like to understand what you mean by investment in corruption. How do you invest in corruption, or how did they invest in corruption? Well, uh, yes, uh, okay. Oh, look at this, uh, this project. Uh, this uh, Lagos uh, Calabar something of the team. Okay. Look at what Apiko came, came and said, look, oh, this, thing, this is a fraudulent uh, 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 business. Mm, in terms of the, the cost. The federal government did not say anything about it. Okay. okay. So all the investment in Nigeria is in corruption. All right. Mm. Okay. I do get your sentiment. All right. I do get your sentiment. Thank you for your take. Of course, the federal government did say something in reaction to the statement by Atiku Abubakar. Mm. Did say something true. Of course, that was Dave Umai saying that Atiku did not know what he was saying. That's basically how uh, the summary of what the federal government did say. Was that satisfactory enough? Now, that is another thing uh, entirely. But mm. do you have any quick reaction so far? Yes, okay. On, on that one, I will say that uh, that's supposed to be a laudable project. But for me, 15 trillion naira, that's the 
more than the entire budget of the Nigerian state for a particular project. This government will not, may not be able to complete it when the other when the next one comes. It might ignore it. It might abandon it. So I think we should look at that project with a lot of caution. And then uh, to our caller or the response, I mean, the one who has a skepticism about me describing this as a coup, I would just ask, what is a coup? Mm -hmm. And then describing or labeling them as Odua agitators, we have to do that with caution. I think that's from uh, Sado Imadagbe, mm -hmm. right? We have to take that with caution. Professor Banji, Akintoye, um, Odua People's Congress, Ghani Adams, and um, a number of prominent Sunday Boho have all detached themselves from this. So, are they representing Odua? Right. Let's take a couple of reactions on X. You have uh, Olale Kim saying, I'm quite in support of Nasir El Rufai for this administration not to take long on those ministers that not perform to the expectations on what he promised the people. Yes, subsidies systematically coming back uh, to PMS and we should not hide on a finger. Okay, that's according to Olale Kim. And then you have uh, Raji Afiz Abidemi saying on the issue. Okay, I took that. Uh, that was uh, from yesterday. We need to go on a quick break. When I return, or when we return, we'll take more reactions. And of course, there's more talking point. Freshly pressed. We'll be right back. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention. Your favorite mini meat chin chin snack pack is now 150 naira. The perfect crunch to satisfy your cravings and keep the good times rolling. Mini meat chin chin. Taste the fun today. Head on now to your nearest neighbor store and grab yours. Colors. They add meaning to our lives. From birth and naming of a child. May your life be rich and potent as the red palm oil. Amen. Colors tell of the feelings in our hearts Aww. through rainbow-like roses or even bubbly emojis. Colors speak of our distinctive ancestry through the shade of our skin. Colors are in the bright garbs we wear to impress or the deluxe coat we give our buildings. Wow, this is so beautiful. And with our proudly Nigerian deluxe paints now available in any color, express your world however you want it. Visit a Deluxe Color Center to get any color instantly. Deluxe, let's color. Oh, more bad show, eh? Just Right Superstore is again in your neighborhood. <laughs> Just right superstore in Songwele Le Ibadan. You'll find a shopping paradise unlike any other. This inviting superstore is designed to offer you an unparalleled shopping experience that prioritizes your satisfaction. We take pride in providing exceptional customer service. At Just Right Superstore, we are committed to offering the best prices in town. Whether you're looking for the latest fashion trends, electronics, home appliances, or groceries, you'll find everything you need at Just Right Superstore. We also have an extensive selection of products from local and international brands ensuring that you have access to the best of both worlds with over 25 branches in the southwest to buy your fresh produce pantry staples household essentials and more all at budget-friendly prices so why wait head over to just right superstore somewhere lay in the road beside the polytechnic Ibadan or your state today and experience the difference for yourself visit just right today for all the right reasons in a move to boost the economy and tackle rising living costs, the government has removed the controversial subsidy. As a result, transportation expenses have soared and the cost of living has become a burden for many. Introducing compressed natural gas or CNG, a game changer. It's safe, eco-friendly and cost-effective, burning clean and extending your driving range. Head over to certified conversion centers in Lagos, Ogun, Abuja, Kaduna and Rivers to switch your vehicle to CNG and start enjoying cheaper fuel for a better life. For more details on the PCNGI initiative, send us an email at info at pci.gov.ng or call at 0700-0000. International Tourism 2024. The International Tourism Summit 2024. International Conference Center, University Lebanon. is Excellency International Tourism Summit. It's Oyo State 2024. 
ati se wa pelu oyo state tourism bi akan lo ede gogo tasatasa symposium fire side chats and exhibition ipate un mere mere to jesu owo ipile asa international tourism summit 2024 ipe nla ni fun gogo eni to lawo hori e wa wo lawo gbadun ko do won akowole agomesan role to bere fun bere tabi fe so nipo wo kan si oyo state minister of culture and tourism ati tourism board secretary ati badan pe 08066247427 tabi kan si www.tourism.oyostate.gov.ng gogo eni afu wo pe la nle ti bo ba ngbo kede yi oyo state lo se bebe Colors, they add meaning to our lives. From birth and naming of a child. May your life be rich and potent as the red palm oil. Amen! Colors tell of the feelings in our hearts. Aww. Through rainbow-like roses or even bubbly emojis. Colors speak of our distinctive ancestry through the shade of our skin. Colors are in the bright garbs we wear to impress. Or the deluxe coat we give our buildings. Wow, this is so beautiful. And with our proudly Nigerian deluxe paints now available in any color, express your world however you want it. Visit a deluxe color center to get any color instantly. Deluxe, let's color. Some call it a disorder, a disability. Having a skin with two distinct colors may seem to others like the end of the world. Not me. I'm a babe, a speck, a 10 out of 10. The unstoppable, the beautiful with lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention. Your favorite mini me chin chin snack pack is now 150 Naira. The perfect crunch to satisfy your cravings and keep the good times rolling. Mini me chin chin. Taste the fun today. Head on now to your nearest neighborhood store and grab yours. Freshly pressed. All the news updates and news analysis from today's headlines on Fresh. Fresh 105.9 FM. Thanks for staying tuned. This is Freshly Pressed on Fresh 105.9 FM. Yes, uh, Dr. Imajima is still in the studio with me. And of course, uh, we're still taking more of your reactions. The phone lines 0704-700-1059 and 0909-1111-059. Before we take your call, hmm. uh, first the story, RFI saying subsidies back. But Nigerians are not aware, saying the uh, government is even paying more on subsidy now. And of course, the government is paying more on subsidy and had to bring back subsidy through the back door, according to LFI, because uh, the things the government should have put in place to ensure that Nigerians have a better life mm. uh, as a result of the removal of subsidy were not put in place. And they realized the, would I say, the effects, the negative effects this could have on the nation. And therefore, they had to bring back subsidy. Well, he uh, should know. Malam Nasir is close to the government. Erifai, yeah, Malam Nasir Erifai was until recently mm. part of the uh, Federal Executive Council. So to say? Not so to say. That's, that was, that's the truth. Until recently, okay. he was a governor for eight oh, years. Oh, right. Okay. So he had the opportunity. I mean, he joined the previous government to deceive Nigerians about subsidy. Yeah, mm. about first. The, the so, initial so, argument, yes. Absolutely. So now that he's out of um, the office, now he sees clearly and he wants to find his way or warm his way into the heart of Nigeria. It's fine. What he's saying is very intellectually correct. But what does he want us to gain from this? To stop the federal government from... Federal government did not tell us that they are doing that. So let them, let them chew that. That's their own problem. So why shouldn't the that's federal from government, a, that's you from know, a perspective. Op open up to Nigerians, if indeed they're back paying subsidy? If the federal government feels like lying to itself, like it does to us, then that's its own problem. Interesting. Yeah, so, but what he has said is very intellectually correct, because we can ask the same question. In fact, people have been asking the same question. If dollar, dollar uh, to Naira rate increases on a regular basis, and the, the price of uh, fuel still hovers between 585 and 660 Naira, then what is happening? But that's not my business. In fact, I need the price of fuel to come down to 85 Naira, mm -hmm. where they met it in the first place, or far lower than that. We thank 
Malam Nasir Air Fire for that uh, information, but to what avail? Mm. Real quick, electricity crisis. Again, of course, uh, the grid collapsed. And if, uh, there's been different reactions. Some saying, you know, it is due to gas shortage. It is due to this. It's vandalism and the likes. Uh, one too many times, uh, the grid, grid keeps collapsing. Mm. Uh, the capacity or the, you know, what we generate it keeps dropping. And it seems there's no end in sight. Yeah, certainly it looks like that. And the English people say that um, a poor workman blames his tools. All right. And the excuse here, gas shortage in Nigeria, where we have a lot of uh, gas flaring done, that excuse seems to be very silly. It seems to be a uh, calculated step to failing or lack of deliberateness to pass. Vandalism? Vandalism. Who has the monopoly of legitimate violence to deal with vandalism? The government, right? Are you the one that will deal with vandalism? Am I the one that will deal with it? So they should deal with it and give Nigeria power supply mm -hmm. and stop giving us excuses. We pay for power supply, not for excuses. We should stop paying for darkness, right? Mm. Uh -huh. So let's take more reactions. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you, Lolo. Good morning to you. Go ahead. You have 60 seconds. Good morning, Dr. Imagine. Warm greetings, bro. Love. Yeah, my take has to do with the first subsidy that is coming back gradually. It's a welcome development. But to me, I think the best way to make people, to make life bearable for the people, especially for the vulnerable people, is by government, federal, state, and legislative leaders to work together as a team and find a way to subsidize on foot close sector. The way people are suffering is very alarming. Lulu, a room set contains not 250,000. Why ordinary room is 150,000 naira? 120. It depends, it depends on the area. Shall we continue like this? Please work together as a team. And the issue of organization of the national grid is a lame excuse. Stop kidding Nigeria. It's not tenable. Thank you, Thank you for your take, Omo Basher. Um, in terms of uh, the, the prices of, uh, what, what's it called, accommodation, mm -hmm. I've, I've been searching for an apartment close by for quite a while now. Really? Uh, the rate is, uh, oh my, it's something, it's something one, wild. One block is now worse, between... worse than what he actually said, but uh, maybe depending on the area. Okay. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, uh, doctor. I greet you, sir. Yeah, How are I've you? listening to your discussions. My I am Ashafra Benis, calling mm -hmm. from Okiago. Go ahead. Wow. Uh, yeah, my particular interest is that of um, the vision of uh, the arrested interior. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it is time for a reconsideration of this state called Nigeria. It's an expression of doubt about uh, the uh, progress of our uh, nation. You see, when uh, some group of people feel uh, disappointed, you know, over the expectation that um, when they have someone from their own tribe or from their own geopolitical region, that there will be a turnaround concerning the restructuring of this nation. You see, the federal system we are creating now is not working. You know, there are the tensions in the north, there are the agitations in the southeast, and now there are agitations in... Uh, in the southwest, which has taken another dimension. The wrap up. And so what we need mm. is the nation states. You know, we have the 2014 National Conference. All these agitations have been taken into consideration in that conference. All right, and thank the you. the agitations we have made, All right. what has the government, the government needs to review, you know, that 2014 uh, Confer National Conference and All see right. how these agitations can be you know, puts to rest. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your take. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We're taking more reactions uh, real quick. Let's see if we can take one more reaction. I see that doctor is itching to say something. Oh. 0704-700-1059. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, um, Lulu and Dr. Jiva. Good morning, Remy. Uh, Thank you very much. You mm. see, I just, I shrug each time I listen to intellectual and putting Abiola in the class of hero. Abiola was part of those who benefited from the failure of Nigeria. June 12th, in my view, was just a case of bad boy having to go after each other. Look, your bad nation people, I think we need to pay attention to those people. Lulu, there's a lot of extortion and brainwashing going on in that movement. Mm. A lot of the members of this movement pay so much 
in in in, in their actualization of their um, their illusionalized um, dream. Now, this was not the intention of the front runner of the Yoruba movement. Lulu, there is a lot of misinformation in that group, and if DSF really have um, instead of, if they have the time, they need to look deep because you have to cop this uh, many before it becomes um, a disaster that we will not be able to control. Mm. Have a good morning. Thank you for your take, Dr. Imajimo. Mm. Quick reactions. I oh. thought you had a reaction to the previous call. Well, let's leave that. Because for want of time, I was going to talk about something else. Oh, I mean, right. I, I, I thought that we could end on a congratulatory message. Oh, quite yeah. a number, quite yeah. a number of them, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one being uh, having to do with uh, your state government receiving uh, Olakunle's nomination as forty third yeah. Ulubado. Yeah. There's that story. Mm -hmm. There's a UI professor, mm -hmm. a professor of history, mm -hmm. who did receive nine hundred thousand uh, pounds mm -hmm. uh, British Academy's Global Award. Of course, this is for further research. That's search. Right. That's There's right. also a Unilori uh, professor. Mm -hmm. Uh, who also uh, created Fred some Oka. biodiesel from um, eggshells. That's right. Yes, there's okay, that. Let's see how we can do that in one minute. Uh, first, I want to congratulate uh, fathers, um, the Ulubadan Council, and the people handling Ulubadan Chieftaincy Ascendancy issue. Mm. Top notch for them. Thumbs up all the way. That's what Ibadan needs. And now that the governor has received an order, quote unquote, I mean, something to work with, maybe not an order. A nomination. A nomination. Yeah. That's, that's a matching order, I mean, to say. For the governor to act thumbs up and let's see how this um works out we need as much peace as possible in Ibadan, and it's already existing nobody should come messing it up for mm -hmm. any reason two um the um OAU professor who manufactured um, some biodiesel from uni lorry uni pardon me pardon me uni -lorry. Uni -lorry. From yes, uni -lorry. Yeah, thank you uh, lulu uh, from eggshell that's commendable i think that uh, there's a need for town gown collaboration to step that outcome of the uh, re, uh, research upward but a minus for me here or a point of controversy for me here is how much is the price of egg <laughs> so uh, fuel from eggshell is not it's not likely to be cost effective right maybe we should do something around that and then lastly um the history professor history professor y university of, of course i know him by name now that it's in public domain i can mention him yeah should i go ahead go ahead please. that's professor uh additional Yes. Uh, Olutayo Adeshino, uh, my friend, my senior friend, and my mentor. I congratulate him, all right? And I think that um, this is an occasion when you would like to be a lecturer in university, but <laughs> it takes a lot of struggle, a lot of step. Yeah. He was my teacher a couple of times. He, I mean, he's my friend and my mentor. I congratulate him. Congratulations. And I'm looking forward to us making a headway as Nigerian scholars and, you know, making Nigeria really proud. It's Thank not you. easy, but... He got it. So you can actually succeed, mm. no matter how difficult it might be. Thank Have you a so great much, day in uh, Nigeria. Thank you, Lulu. Right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, yeah. Doctor. Of course, we need to wrap things up at this point in time. Uh, apologies to the sports uh, desk. Uh, we shot a little past time. My wow. name is Lulu. Fat Dude, you fresh in the press. We'll be back tomorrow between 7 and 8 a.m. You're listening to Fresh FM. Catch the action, the passion, the feels, the thrills, the news, all day on Fresh Sports.